flight. I'm famous with the chicken and the biscuits. I feel like Bojangles with his grease. I be dripping. Uh, I took all the sauce out of the kitchen. I dripped on my shoes. Now them hoes really kicking. Uh, I dripped on my shoes. Now they kicking. Uh, I dripped on my shoes. Now they kicking. Uh, I took all the sauce out the kitchen. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy. I'll be skinny. And today, I am here to to do a video on on what the fuck will happen. If you try to make Kurt Angle and Vince McMahon look bad on live TV, basically. Alright, the, the situation we got going on right now is motherfucking... Hold on. The, uh, it's Kurt Angle versus Daniel Pewter. That was the, uh, the Tough Enough uh, challenge, something like that, where he was worth like a million dollars or something. So... He got on, basically, he was in this camp with all the other people type shit that was, I guess, million dollar fighters. Kurt Angle gets done whooping one of their ass, and he's he's cutting a promo. He's like, yeah, and, and then y'all want some, and y'all want some? And Daniel Pewter is like, like me, like, I don't think he knows that, you know, Kurt Angle's just being a character. So he's like, yeah, like, like let me fight. Let's check this shit. Tough enough people. Who wants to get in the ring? See, look, he was right on it. Get your in the ring. Here's Daniel. You want to get in the ring? I guess Kurt's not throwing in the ring. Like, it's, it, it seemed like it caught him off guard because he's like, You want to get in the ring with me? You want to get in the ring with me? Like, like damn, nigga, why are you ruining my, my, my moment right now? Get your in the ring. Here's <coughs> Daniel. And he couldn't turn it down. He was like, get your ass in the ring. Okay. All right, before we start, look at these niggas. Look at the intensity of what the fuck is about to happen. This right here, this is not world wrestling entertainment. This is a real fight about to go down right here. Like... That's the problem with this situation right here. <clears throat> Basically, this is an act. This is this is entertainment. Daniel Buter doesn't know that. Well, he, he should know that because he's on fucking WWE. He's treating it like, damn, Kurt Angle's really like the strongest fucking Olympian out here. And we about to really get it on. <clears throat> oh, look at like they really lock it up. This ain't this, you know. Oh, all right, I'm gonna control you right here. One, two, or oh, I'll take. Like, no, nah, this is these niggas is real life. Like scruff. All right, I was about to say scruffling. I don't even know scruffling a word. So look at these niggas. I swear, Kurt Angle was probably like. He was probably like, yo, I'm about to fuck this kid up. Then when he see, like, he's really battling back, he's probably like, yo, what the fuck is this kid doing? Like, we are in front of millions of people right now, and this, 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 he's trying to he's trying to seriously wrestle me right now. Look at this shit, bro. They're really wrestling. And you can see that these niggas is mad. <laughs> He tried picking him up, throwing him over the rope. And they had both. I think they said it's a key lock or a kibora, something like that. This nigga is a cage fighter that got to go on WWE, I guess. He does not realize that this this should not be going on. He does not realize he should not be throwing out no motherfucking kimoras. On Kurt Angle, especially. Look, he's getting that. Right there, he real life is about to break Kurt Angle's shit. And if he would have fucked Kurt Angle up, that whole shit would have been fucked up. But shout out to the refs right here, because look what they do. 
I guess you could say his shoulders were down, but they did that shit because they seen that, oh, shit, this situation is, is getting out of hand. Like, we got to do something. But, yeah, this motherfucker just put on, like, a Kimura on this thing. Last week, due to his, due to his trying to stay close to the... He's got a key lock there, people trying to get a key lock on angle. Like, this nigga is really crank that shit. Look, Kurt Angle mad as hell. Look at it. He's, he's like, huh, good, good match, sir. Kurt Angle's like, what the fuck? Don't you know any better? Right here, he's basically calling him a dumbass. In a lot of different ways. Well, get out of his face. When you're in this ring, you're in my ring. You understand. By the looks of it, you hear what that yeah. that he said. When you're in uh, when you're in this ring, you're in my ring. Basically, what he was trying to insinuate is, motherfucker, we are on WWE. You are not the superstar. I'm the damn superstar. I'm supposed to be looking good in this damn ring, not you. Why the fuck are you putting me in the damn key locker, Kimura, or whatever the fuck it is? The hell are you doing? But just wait. I got something for that ass. None of you are tough enough. Now get out of my face. You suck. Y'all remember that shit. That nigga Stone Cold. He the one who brought that shit. But look, alright. So y'all see that. Now, when we seen that years ago, we like, damn, he really almost got a Kurt Angle. Then you got to put two and two together. He got punished for that shit, and we're about to watch him get punished. Look at this shit right here. This shit, this shit was just, made me feel bad for him. The tough enough kid, Puna. Daniel Pewter. Who won the $1 million tough enough right, and the right to stop training hard and I'm gonna win the Royal Rumble. Let me tell you something, y'all. Oh, okay. For what right there? You can't go into the Royal Rumble and then leave out the ring. Like, that's a, 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 I guess someone, because I swear he got set up right here. I swear someone told him, come out there, go cut a promo, act like a cocky kid, you know what I'm saying? Go act like this. We're going to have a good show. They did not tell him what the fuck was in store for his ass. I'm telling you. I just wanted everybody to know tonight that you are about to witness history. You're about to witness history. I will, Mr. Yeah, the are watching, huh? I'm going to be the first tough enough champion to win the Royal Rumble. That's a high strong talk from a rookie. Eddie Our Guerrero, coach, Chris Benoit in the ring, RIP to both of them. Kid, I know that. It's, but they whoop you know, this nigga's ass. First, his first pay -per -view to WWE. And it, I ain't even going to spoil it for you. I'm going to just, I'm just let it ride. Hold on, I got one for him too. Hold on, hold on. My chest. Get your ass up, nigga. Hold on. My front and my back, they hurt. I'm in pain, you guys. Stop. Look, right there, I swear Chris Benoit tried to drop him on his head. Like, these niggas, real life, did not give a fuck. Like, this whole match... This whole shit, they did not give a fuck about this nigga. Like, 
if I could put this in slow mo, I would. Look at look at just how he has him at the angle to where he doesn't give a fuck about his safety or his life. To where he's like, yo, uh, yeah, I'm about to kill you. Like, look at this shit. Like, we ain't done yet. We ain't done yet. The three amigos. I remember that. Look, you thought that was bad. Damn, hardcore Holly come out. And you think, okay, they all four about to get it in. No, all three of them about to get it in on his ass. They about to. He's like, yeah, let me speed this shit up to get in this motherfucker. Hold on now, I got this shit. Y'all didn't whoop his ass enough. Let me get some licks in this motherfucker. Get up. Back in the corner. Back up. Ah, my chest. That's like eight slaps I didn't took. My chest. <laughs> like, I don't care what y'all say. Yes, WWE is fake. But you cannot fake this. I mean, you can, but you can't. Those is contact slaps. After the damn fourth or fifth one, your chest is going to be red and sensitive. And these motherfuckers is steroided up, beating your shit in like... You can't fake this shit. Like these niggas are beating this nigga's chest. They are triple to... Look. Holding them up like, nigga, you ain't falling no more. Nigga, you about to take this... Switch off, nigga. Look, look, pass you the blunt, nigga. You hit it. <laughs> you like, man, Eddie, you over here bullshit, nigga. You hit this shit, man. Hit this nigga, man. Viva la raza. I used to fuck with my nigga Eddie, I swear. Look, I swear they just... They're just whooping his... They're just whooping his ass. Like, I've seen a lot of ass kicking in the WWE. But it was enough on the motherfucking Chris Benoit and Eddie whooping his ass. And now it's all three of them just whooping his ass. For at least four minutes. Like. They, and what makes it bad, it's not like. It's not like he he did this. And then he got like a a big push in the WWE, became champion or did something motherfucking significant. This was like the last time he was seen in the WWE. Like he literally fucked up shit with uh Kurt Angle. Messed almost like he he did mess that up, so he's getting punished for it, literally. Think like this was either a couple months after that or something. This was the last time he was seen in WWE, getting his ass whooped. You cannot get disqualified in the Rumble. But you, uh, you took the high pitch voice for us to do. Man. That's the clock, and that's Pewter. Ah, full, full force, like, nigga, I would, I would be tired, regardless if this shit hurt or not. Nigga, I would be fucking tired, like my nigga. Y'all, y'all are really gonna do all these fucking moves before y'all just throw me out and get rid of me. Like, is all this fucking necessary? Like, look, when he threw him out, he just threw him out. So like, get your ass out, like that nigga just flopped out like a fish. Oh, like I have no more energy. I'm just dead, N man. I feel bad for Daniel Pewter, but, you know, if you're in world wrestling entertainment, you can't get in that bitch trying to motherfucking really physical wrestle 
like UFC with them one of the top people and almost make them look bad in front of millions of people. This shit crazy though. That shit is just crazy thinking about how classic shit is like and how shit was handled and it, it was handled before our eyes. Like we didn't really think about it like this, but shit crazy. Uh, if y'all know any more motherfucking crazy WWE memory or WCW, WWF, ECW, whatever that y'all want me to check out, comment on below. Uh, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, all that. Till next time, YouTube. I'm out. Get along with your daddy for the pussy. Sound like we making man with the pussy. Huh, hop out, jazz hands with the pussy. Skinny dance, sweatpants dance in the pussy. I'm a smile for the pussy. Five minute man, not a while in that pussy. I go wild in that pussy. Five minute man, then I'm out in the pussy. I'm trying to grow sprout in that pussy. Summer salt dive in the crowd for that pussy. Start smoking loud for that pussy. Got me in here smoking black and miles for that pussy.